Welcome everyone to one of my favorite bands, Gin Blossoms, Hey Jealousy. I uh, heard this the other day and looked it up and looked up the tab and I'll be damned if the tab isn't really good for this. So I have not tabbed this out. If you go to Ultimate Guitar and look up Gin Blossoms and Hey Jealousy, either the um, uh, high quality official version or the pro version, is really um, got everything there. There's a couple things they missed, and I'll show you that, and I'll speak to it as we go through the lesson. Um, so if you're a, a learner through TAB, you can look that up and maybe follow the video, and if you just listen to the video, you'll have it. So with that said, let's get into it. Got my Les Paul, which really helps with the tone, and I'm playing through um, Amplitude 4 with a Marshall JCM 800 on the crunch setting. So if you want to get this tone, that's it. We're going to start out at the 7th fret. We'll hit the 9th fret back to 7 and slide to 5. At that point, you want to jump to a D. This is a D6 sus 2, I think it's. Anyhow, what we're doing is instead of playing a D bar chord, which will sound fine, by the way, but if you want to add, there's two guitars, which complicates this. So if you're like me and you want to play your favorite song and kind of sound, give it a full sound, you can do this, okay? So D is fine, uh, power chord, or this D6 sus2. So I'm playing the fifth fret of the fifth string, seventh fret of the fourth and third, and I got the first and second strings open. And even if you strum through and back up, you'll get that kind of open springing sound that you hear in this song. Then move up to an E, keeping that pattern. So this is an E fifth, and basically that first and second strings open. And then move that up another full step, okay, will be to F sharp and we'll keep that first and second string open. Now that B sound, the B string doesn't sound as good, so just kind of pedal or just hit the first string. But if you hit them both, it's fine. Again, this song's pretty distorted in this intro especially. Um, so let's take it from the intro. One, two, three, four. Coming back to the E and the D. When you hit the E, you'll hear the bass and the second guitar come back in with that same first lick. And then you're back to the D. But again, I didn't do that and I don't do that because I recognize it in the intro and it's more of a passing kind of thing um, when the bass does it with the other guitar. So again, from the intro, one, two, three, four. into the verse. Now for the verse, what I do is I turn my volume down to about seven, which cleans up the guitar just a little bit. So the rhythm is, it's almost triplets, okay? What we want to do with our D sus2 is hit the four thirded second, and then hit that again before we come up on the first to second string, okay? Then we move quickly to our E, and we're not going to play the bottom E. We let the bass do that. But you want to play four, three, um, four, I'm sorry, fifth, fourth, and third string, and then do that again when you hit that. And come back up on the first and second. All right, so we have this. Then we're going to come to an F sharp, okay, it'd be almost like an F sharp minor, but we're not going to play the F sharp and let the bass do that. So we're going to be on the fifth and fourth string at the fourth fret. We're going to have to use our first finger on the third string at the second fret, 
so we can have the first and second string open. And again, we want to play the fifth, fourth, and third string twice. And then back to our E. And then we go around again. Now, again, there's two guitars, and if you want to get technical, follow the tab. It's, it's correct. So if you have two guitars, you can work it out so you're each playing a separate piece. So the next part of the song really starts picking up, and we'll turn our volume all the way up, and we're going to do basically a D, E, F sharp, back to E, just like we did in the intro. Um, but again, this is like a pre-chorus. It's the end of the verse. So let me lead you into that. Turn the guitar down a little bit, and here we go. One, two, three, four. So the rhythm underneath the guitar, I'll show you the octave part for a uh, uh, second, but what they're doing is A to D, A to D twice. Then we're going to go to an F sharp to E, to our D sus2, hey jealousy, okay, and then you're back into like the um, intro, turn your guitar down rhythm. Okay, so that is the chorus, but what the other guitar is doing, and what I mostly play, are octaves. So I'll show you that next. I'm going to go into the chorus, I'm going to come out through the heavier part of the pre-chorus. Last part of it. One, two, three, four. So what I'm doing there is I come out of the chorus, we're hanging on the E. Alright, now what we're going to do is come up to the 12th fret on the 5th string, not playing the 4th string, we'll be on 14th, so we'll be a full step away on the 5th and 3rd string, okay? I'm just going to talk to this first finger, so we go 12, and we're going to hit one and then da da da. So one and one, two, three. Then we go 11, 9 to 7. Seven we hit twice. Then we're going to slide from 7 to 9 and hit another da da da. Back to seven, and then uh, five, four, five. All right, that concludes really the first, let's consider that half of it. So let me take you through that slowly. And again, the tab is right for this. So the second half I feel is a little bit different. All right, one, two, three, four. This is where I feel there's a little variation. I think what he does is he slides into 12 and does a da da da. Okay, so down and then down, up, down. And goes back. Okay, they don't show this. I feel he goes back to 11 and uh, third, third string will be on um, 13. And then up to 14. 
and then back to 12 and uh, 14. It just follows the melody. And if you listen really hard, I, again, I, this is what I feel he's playing. So let's go all through that again from 12. One, two, three, four. and then they come back into the verse. So really, that is the rhythm of the song. Um, we'll touch on the lead next and the outro, and you'll have it all. We'll go through the uh, lead. Again, the tap is right for this, so I'll show it to you played so you can get a feel how it is. I'm going to start out in my rhythm pickup. pickup selected gives you more of a violin tone all right and what we're going to do for the first part of this is we're going to slide into the 10th fret on the second string and then hit it again pull and hit nine on the second um, string to 11 on the third string and then nine on the third string Now what you want to do is hit 9 again on that 3rd string and hammer into 11 and you'll catch the 2nd string at 10 so your middle finger kind of comes down to that 2nd string so you can catch it. Alright, let me show you that slowly. There's a real rhythm to this lead. so. As you learn this part, you'll hear that rhythm. So you can feel that rhythm. Okay, I might have said we hit nine twice, but actually it's three on the third string. At that point, you're going to keep that middle finger down and lift your ring finger with the hammer on back in to uh, the uh, 11th fret from 9. Almost hitting both strings. and hit the uh, fourth string at 11, back to nine on the third string. So again, feel the rhythm of it. Now at this point, go down to your um, bridge pickup. So what we're going to do is double stops. We'll hit 9, hammer into 11, and then we'll hit 9 three times, and the third time we'll slide back. Okay, when you slide, you don't hit it again. Again, listen to the rhythm. At this point, he picks up some more notes, and what we're going to do is go from 7 to 9 on the fifth string, to seven to nine bent and released back to seven on the fourth string. Then we'll hit nine to seven on the fifth string. Seven on four. So that whole thing, one, two, three, four.
Then you're going to hit 9 on that 4th string, slide it up to 11. Catch 9 on the 3rd string. And then you're going to hit the 3rd and 2nd string together, kind of barring it with the hammer on to 10. Two more times. Here we go into that rhythm. Third time we slide it up to 11 and 12. Okay. Then we're going to hit it once more and then slide back. Alright. Wow, that's a lot of notes. Let's take it from the double stop 9 to 11 and uh, the slide back from 11 to 12. One, two, three, four. So we slide back at that point to 9 and 10. We'll hit it twice. The second time we hit it, we're going to take our pinky and hammer on to the third, I'm sorry, second string at 12. Back to 9 and 10. Three times. Then we come up to this um, part that you really recognize. It's, it's almost an octave, but he's adding the second string to it. So we're going to be on the 14th fret of the third string and at 17 on the second and first string. And we're going to hit it and then a down up, hit it, down up, hit it, down up. So those down ups are muted. That takes some practice, so work on it, just take it slow. And you'll get it down. So we'll do eight hits on that octave type rhythm. At that point, Staying in that position, you're going to put your ring finger down on the, see that's 16th fret, bend that up, keeping your middle or pinky finger on the second string at 17 twice. So that double stop will go twice. Then you go 16, 14 on the third string to 16 on the fourth, back to 14 on the third. So listen to the rhythm. Now we're going to do 16 on 4 to 14 on 3. One, two, three times. Then we go 16 on the third. So again, more rhythm. Then we take 16, bend that up, and hit 17 just like we did, but it's not a double stop. We're going to slide it up. And just keep bending it up and hitting 17 three times. Then we're going to hit 17 four times. All right, so we have this. Um, let's take it from the 16 to 14 rhythm. All right. Um, one, two, three, four. that third string down, we're keeping our pinky as a pedal note at 17, and we're going to hit 16, 14, 16 with the third string. Alright, so we have this. One, two, three, four. Point, we're going to take our middle finger, or I'm sorry, our um, double stop at 16 in um, on the fourth and third string. All 
right, so we have this. Listen for the rhythm. All right, that point, then you just hit 14 on the fourth and third string. Back to 16, bend up, catch 17, and then a 16, relax to 14 on the third. And that last note, okay, is really, it's just how it began. It's really kind of a, a signature note in this song. All right, that A. All right, so. That is the lead. I really hope that helps everybody. Let's go over the outro and you'll have the rest of the song. So to end the song, basically we're going through the verse. And it'll pick up just a little bit. You'll hear the other guitar come in with the D to E to F sharp back to E. to that E, you'll go to the intro riff just a little bit slower. You stop on the A and then you end on a D sus 2. And that ends the song. So I hope that helps everybody. Great song, great band, God bless them, enjoy.